Hello, DJ Cuba 15. Um, today I'm going to be showing you the second part of how to solve square one. So, if you want to learn how to solve your square one, go to my channel page and find part one of this tutorial. But, anyways, right now let's get into this. So, as I said in the first part, you always keep the yellow on top, but for now, I'm going to be showing you how to permute the corners, or for the first part of this video, anyway. So, this is very intuitive. If you've ever, um, if you know Ortega on a 2x2, two two, um, wait, this has nothing to do with the square one whatever it doesn't use the same algorithms but there's like the same cases I guess because there's two there's two solved right here and then it's a y perm on top so it's a t perm on the bottom and a y perm on top and that on two by two looks like this but obviously you can't do this on a squan so um uses the same cases but a different algorithm. If you've ever you know, let me grab it. if you've ever seen my tutorial on this, it's basically the same, like you use one algorithm and then you intuitively move pieces around the cube. So the corner algorithm is actually like the easiest algorithm I've learned for square one beside the L case that I showed you in the first video, but um, it goes like this basically. So you turn it like that. Uh, what this do actually does, though, is um, wait a second. I forget what it does. Does it do that? Yes, it does. So you use this algorithm to move intuitively move the corners around the cube. And it's like the algorithm I told you. It does the same thing that I, of the algorithm that I told you on how to solve this. And on Ortega on the 2x2. Two two. It's basically the same thing as this algorithm. It switches these two corners, and it switches these two corners, but in a very different way of an algorithm. So, um, you basically, you intuitively do this, so, there's, I see there's no, there's all corners solved on the bottom, but there's two solved up here. So it's basically just like the case that I sh told you here, there's only two swapped on the cube. So you turn it to the side and you do that algorithm. So you have the two on the side and then you do this this algorithm. You go one to the side. I'm actually not gonna talk during this. Wait, that didn't work. Um, how does this? Oh yeah. Okay, I'll show you that differently. I messed up because again, I'm bad at doing square one algorithm slowly, but I'm trying to teach you here. <laughs> so, like this, like this. <coughs> Sorry, still have the cough. Um, so what that does is it switches these two and it switches these two. But now that has made this, so we can put the solved bar in the back. Put the two solved bars in the back, 
and then just do that algorithm again. And then, like, do however you need to do this. And then you got all the corners solved on the cube. So, yeah. And now comes the edge permuting. Now, this is by far the most difficult algorithm. Um, actually, no. No, no. The one where you orient the edges is the most difficult algorithm, but for this, it's basically like double parity. It, if you do it on this side, it will swap these two, and it will swap these two. So if you do it right here, it will swap these two and these two. Not uh, up and down, but side to side. So it will go like that, and it will go like that. <laughs> So, it's basically still intuitive, and, um, you just, you move it around the cube. So you want green to be in green spot, you put it to the back so that, so that these two will switch. And you want red to be in the red spot, well that's already there, so you want, so you keep it there. And then, um, this is the algorithm. Uh, wait. Let me do this fast so I can remember it because I don't want to mess it up again. Um. Yes, okay. I got it. So you go like this. Maybe? I hope I got that right. Yes. So you see, red went into its place and green went into its place. So now you do that more on the cube. Um, you want red to go there, then you put it there. And you want blue and orange to swap, then you put it there. And um, you do the algorithm again. And now, uh, that's just really lucky for me, I got parody. So I can teach you parody right now without having to do it. Now, if you did this and it's solved, then you're good. You did not get parody. But parody is still an essential part of solving the square one. For a while, I went solving the square one without parody, so I just had to like... If I got parody, I just had to like mess it up again. But this is by far the the, the easiest parody algorithm for the square one out there. Now, at the end, you do need to permute the corners and you do need to swap the edges. But it does fix parity. So wait, um, yes, I know how this goes. Um. You hold it so it's like this, but if you got uh, two swapped like this, you just turn it over. It doesn't matter as long as the two the two um, edges that need to be swapped are on the top, and they're in a L shape like this. So then you do this algorithm. Now, sorry for no commentary there, that was really awkward, but now, you turn the top layer like this, and the bottom layer like this, and then you do the corner permuting algorithm. And then you got 
these two that need to be switch swapped and these two that need to be swapped. So you put them in the back and you swap them and then you solve the square one. I will do that parody algorithm again because it might be like really confusing to some people. Sorry, that's that's how long it takes me to finger trick it. <laughs> and then this. It is by far the simplest way to solve a square one that I've seen. And the easiest, but not the most efficient or effective. I couldn't see even myself going to competition using this um, method for the square one. So, the parity algorithm again. Here, I'll get you like an angle from the top. No commentary again. And what I like about this parity algorithm is that it, you only need to finger trick the top layer which makes it really easy to learn and yeah and once you get done that algorithm you turn this you turn this you do the corner permuting one and then you align the edges you do the edges the permuting the edges and then you just do this however you need and it should just be solved so, hopefully, these tutorials have helped you. Um, again, if you were watching this and you were really confused, sorry, I wasted your time. You need to go see my first part of this. But, um, this has been DJ Cuba 15. I just hopefully taught you how to 